Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Max and in this video I'll show you how to make a very powerful PVC water pump powered by a 12 volt motor. So this thing has quite a lot of torque and closer to the end of the video I'll show you how you can utilize small pumps like these. Let's get started. To start out you're going to want to drill a one centimeter hole for your motor. Drill two small holes on each side of the hole that we just drilled for the screws. To prevent any water from running into the motor, it's best to put a piece of rubber in between the PVC end cap and the motor. Screw the parts together with a couple of screws. Then take a large plastic lid and cut the center piece out for the base of the water pump impeller. Make sure that the circle is small enough to spin around freely in the inside of the water pump. Then you're going to take two bottle caps and split them in half and then cut out the base part of the bottle cap leaving you with blade shaped pieces. Now let's glue four of the blade shaped pieces onto the impeller base. This is how your finished water pump impeller should look like. Using a marker you're going to draw an oval where the water will be pumped out. Then you're going to drill it out. For the pipe that sticks out of the water pump, I'm using just an old felt marker which no longer works and we're going to mark it along the inner part of the water pump. But before we trim it, we're going to empty the guts out. Glue the pipe into the water pump using some epoxy. Make sure that it sits flush. For extra durability I decided to put some more epoxy around the blades of the impeller so that it definitely does not break. After that you're going to glue the impeller onto the motor shaft. Take a new PVC end cap and mark it about a centimeter from the top. That's where you're going to be cutting it. Also be sure to drill a hole that is one centimeter in diameter. Cut a thin section off of a two inch pipe. Cut a piece of pipe off from what we just glued on earlier. Then take this section of pipe and glue it into the shortened PVC end cap. Once assembled, let's go test it out. Now let's make a base for the water pump. Next, what you're going to want to do is take four of these 18650 batteries and put some solder on them so that they're easy to connect. And we're going to wire them up in series, which is a positive to negative connection.
according to my multimeter, the battery measures about 14 and a half volts. Solder on a couple of wires, one coming from the positive end of the battery and one coming from the negative, and then glue the battery onto the pump base. Solder one wire onto the motor, and then the other wire that comes from the battery goes to the switch. Then take a new wire, solder it onto the other end of the switch, and then attach it to the motor. And now we're done. I decided not to glue on the lid of the pump so that I can easily take it off and clean the pump out in case if anything gets stuck in there. In order to start the pump, you're going to need to kickstart it with a hose. Or you can use your mouth to kickstart it, but a hose works a lot better. Now I'm going to make the two posts for the garden irrigation system. For that we're going to need to drill a hole at the top where the pipe is going to go through. So guys, this is my garden and this is where I'll be setting up the garden irrigation system. The first thing I'm going to do in my garden is stick in the posts, one at each end of the row of plants. Then I'm going to take this 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, run it through the two posts and mark the areas where the holes will be sitting. I also hooked up the pump with a couple of these PVC clear pipes, so it's a rubbery kind of pipe. I'm going to take the end that comes out of the pump and glue it into this PVC pipe that is over the garden. So guys, I found something really strange. The holes on this half of the pipe didn't really seem to give that much water, but the other half of the pipe that uh, goes towards the end uh, has a lot more water coming out of it. The water just goes to the back here and drains out there, so it doesn't even have time to uh, go through these holes. But uh, my idea is just to make these holes a little bit bigger than the holes over there. With that little adjustment, it seems to work a lot better. So let me give you guys a little tour of my garden. So in this row here, it's a real mix. I got cantaloupe, melons, and pumpkins. And then this plant over here, I forgot the name of it, but it's some sort of spice. It has this kind of thick leaf, and then next to it, there's some other kind of plant, which is a potato hybrid. And then over here, I'm growing some peas. So I planted them as seeds, and already a week later, they've grown this big, which is quite amazing to see. And then over here, I have some chili peppers, some more peas, 
a papaya tree, and I got some other papaya plants there. A lemon tree over here, and then some banana trees. And then down here in this row, I'm growing some carrots. Excuse the weeds. And on the other side of the garden irrigation system, in this row, I'm growing some basil. Yep, so that is my garden. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. Alright everyone, that's about it for this video showing you how to make a pretty powerful PVC water pump driven by a 12 volt motor and I totally recommend you guys make a pump like this if you're looking for something that is very durable and powerful. This water pump is built with end caps that are about 5 millimeters thick so this pump is really durable if you drop it it'll stay in one piece for sure. And if you have enough pressure going to the garden irrigation system, you can probably even turn the whole PVC tube and have the spray going into a different row of plants or whatever you're growing around. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would much appreciate if you give it a like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked not to miss any upcoming videos. And still to this day, YouTube has kept the comments disabled across all of my videos on this channel with their messed up policies. So if you do want to comment, you can go on down to my Instagram at max.imagination, follow me there. You can DM me or comment down on one of my promo videos. That's all for now, my friends. See you next week. Peace!